So, 3D blinking and lip sync in VR chat is pretty cool. But you know what else is cool? 2D blinking and lip sync. As you can see, this character has a very flat face since he's a TV. So I didn't want any 3D elements to poke past and ruin the illusion. And for the most part, it does a pretty good job. Just follow me into Blender and I'll show you how I got this up and running. First of all, let's go over how this works. We'll be moving planes that are hidden inside the head here and pushing them forward to create the illusion that the texture itself is changing. Same thing for the mouth. Each one of these planes will represent a different visine shape and will come up ever so slightly over the old one each time a new syllable is spoken and will instantly go back. Now the blinking is going to be a little less consistent than the lip sync will. The blinking has a bit of an issue because these planes need to travel through the face. So sometimes you'll see the moment the plane travels through and shows part of it showing and part of it not showing, but blinking is usually so fast that that isn't really a problem. The mouth, on the other hand, is a lot nicer because we'll be controlling it with the Visine parameter, which means this will just show the new faces instantly and then hide them instantly when they're not needed. No traveling necessary. But that'll make more sense when we go to Unity. Here's how you make the extra planes. Let's take that away and assume this was a face and that this covered one eye. All you have to do is Shift D to duplicate, right click to put it back in place, G and move it inside the head. You need the eyes shut texture to be on the front of this plane. Next, we'll start making blend shapes. Make a new shape key called blink and take the two eyes shut planes inside the head and just push them forward. Just a little bit. VR chat uses 13 vice seams to make your character's mouth move. You'll need to make 13 blend shapes in Blender, each title after one of the vice seams, in order to get that to work for your character. These are just moving the planes that are inside the head and pushing them forward. Now you could draw new shapes for each of these sounds, but you could also just reuse the same shapes for ones that sound similar. Like how I use the ch sound to also do the n sound and the s sound, since I think they all look similar enough. I've got a link to a great guide you can use as reference for drawing your Visemes. And it's also got a list of Viseme names in case you don't want to copy what I have here. Just remember, if you reuse any blend shapes, you have to move some kind of vertice somewhere on the model in order to differentiate it from the other blend shapes. Anyway, once you've got all your blend shapes ready to go, all we have to do is put it together in Unity. See you there. Okay, so first up, you'll want to import your model into Unity and make sure you have the VRChat Avatars 3.0 SDK installed. Just set up your avatar like normal with the avatar descriptor and all that. If you need a guide for how that works, I'll link one in the description. But jumping down to the eye look section, skipping eye movements and eye transforms, go to eyelids, select blend shapes. You want to select the body mesh that holds all the extra planes you have. And then you'll have the option under blink here to select your blink blend shape, which should then be previewed for your pleasure. Just check it out, make sure it all works. Uh, and then that's blinking. It works, but I would like something more consistent like Visemes in the future. Moving on, we want to go from eye look to lip sync. And here's the default setup for lip sync. You select their mouth and then you select the blunt shape they have. And you could do this, but what I've noticed is that the travel time from the plane going inside the head to showing on the outside of the head is too long. It just looks awful. It works for blinking, it does not work for lip sync. So to fix that, we're going to make it Visine parameter only. But we do wanna keep this list up for uh, reasons I'll explain later. But at the end of it, we're gonna be switching it back to Visine parameter only. Next up, I switched over to my Quest version of this model to show how we're gonna make the animations for each of the vice themes. Make an animated controller by right-clicking, create, animated controller, call it whatever you want. Then go to your avatar descriptor and drag it into the FX layer. 
Now we'll need the animation window and the animator window. And you can get to the animator window by just clicking the animation controller, or you can go into animation and they'll both be here. This is where we're gonna use that Fysine blend shape list I talked about before. You'll need to make 15 animations, each of them corresponding to one of the Fysines listed here. And they'll need to be in this order. So for example, Fysine zero is sill. Fysine one is puh. Fysine two is f, and so on. So if you ever get lost, you can just refer to this list because there isn't really another source I can find that shows the numbers VRChat uses to correspond to the actual Vicemes that they use. So just create an animation. You can title it, whatever you want, like V0. Then press the record button, select the body mesh. And since sill is zero, set that to 100. And there we go, we've got an animation. Make another one, V1. Then we'll move this up to 100. Just remember to reset everything when you're done. V2. Uh, what was V2 again? Let's go check. Two is F. So go back here. Go to F. Set that to 100. I don't know why that is set to 0.9, but if you find any of these values weirdly sticking around between animations, just click revert and it should go back to zero. But after you've gone through all your blend shapes and made these 15 animations, we can go and plug them into the animator. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna make a new layer called lip sync and a new parameter a new int parameter named Vicene. I'll let that one, yeah, here. Vicene. Make sure you have lip sync as the active layer and you'll want to make a new state. We'll call this one default. This will be the default face you have here. And next, we'll make another state and we can call it V0 for Vicene zero. Motion. Just drag the relevant animation in, make a transition to zero, and then from zero back to the default. Now, the first thing you need to do is set the conditions for this Viceme to show up. So you want to be Viceme equals zero for it to transfer to this. And then the condition for it to return back to normal should be Viceme does not equal zero. And then you'll want to go into each of these, remove the exit time, set the transition duration to 0 0.01 or something like that. And there you go. You have an entire Viceme set up. And the rest of it is basically the same thing. So you can even just drag these in and they'll immediately create a state for you. And all you need to do is, you know, make the transition, make the transition go here condition it's one so viceme equals one and then go back when one is it's, a, it's pretty much the same thing over and over and the final version of that can be seen with this model so this has all the viceme set up all named now don't forget to go to your model and remember this lip sync Set this back to Vicene parameter only before you publish to VRChat. Because if you leave it on this one, it'll do it the awful way. And once you have all this set up, then you've done it, woohoo. But before you go anywhere, make sure that you test your lip sync before you can publish it, just so you know it works. The way you do that is by dragging your animation controller onto your model and then press play, go to your parameters scene here put in view and then just put a number from 1 to 14 in here and if it works correctly you should see the mouth change to one of the shapes and this looks like it's working if anything doesn't work just try to check the transitions make sure they're looking okay just double check everything and there you go 
Just upload your avatar to VRChat and you, my friend, have 2D blinking and lip sync. Congratulations. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Feel free to leave a comment or question below. As for me, this is my first YouTube video. And I'll tell you right away, I'm still figuring out what I want to do with this channel. Uh, I, I want video essays, I kind of want to do some more 3D stuff, 3D modeling, VTubing stuff. But I wanted to start with something simple, like this 2D lip sync thing that I th couldn't really find a good video for on YouTube. So I hope that was helpful. And if you like what you see or want to take a chance on a new YouTuber, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, see ya.